happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Welcome to Brayden and Elisa's home. <laughs> Good to be here. Haven't been in their home to do a sing along yet. So this is a bit special to be able to sing with them. We're going to start with a favorite of the sing along series, and that is um, Sabbath Rest. We might even have one more of our favorites before we take yours. That's how we roll. <laughs> but welcome and happy Sabbath. Good to have you all with us. opening Sabbath time in the Philippines. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Good time there. Hey, I actually want a, a special welcome to the new SDA prayer warriors in northern Mindeo, Mindanao in the Philippines. Shout out to all of you. Um, thank you so much for joining us each week and bless you for being prayer warriors because that's really um, what Christians ought to be for others, for the world. Um, is praying. So thank you so much for all that you are doing in praying for the cause of Christ. Um, tonight we will uphold you in prayer as you labor for others. So welcome. Welcome. So I'm way back here, so that means I can't necessarily read all the comments, but I've got the loudest voice, so I'm sitting far away. <laughs> 
Happy Sabbath. And if you um, just joined and, and missed out, we are in Brayden and Elise's home. So Brayden's my nephew and um, Elise, his dear wife, all the way from Finland. But of course, living here in Australia now, so welcome. What shall we sing next? All creatures, no? all creatures of our God and King, number two in the hymnal. Awesome, let's do this. I don't think I have lyrics up. Oh, yeah, I can. I can pull them up for you, Brad. So if you want to Google SDA hymn 2, that's H Y M N, if English is not your first language, SDA hymn 2, then you should be able to come up with that. Where is it? <laughs> Song choices, does that mean we need to get another favorite? I think so. We've got a <laughs> list here. <laughs> okay. okay, more about Jesus. Lovely, which is hymn number 245 or something like that. Hopefully, we'll know more of these words and we can glance at what the request might be. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Sorry, more about 245. 245 in the Advent. G, what's that? G. Oh, okay. 
Okay, you put the other one. Because I'll do alto. <laughs> well, a two, four, five. Here we go. More about Jesus. quality time with Jesus, um, not rushed time, and to really make sure that he's a big part of your life, not just the le gets the leftovers. That's a great hymn. Mm. All righty. Your favourites. I saw a couple, but it's always hard to remember once you finish the hymn. What were they? Here I am to worship. Do you know that one? <coughs> and how appropriate. That's what we're doing tonight. Oh 
are just joining us, it's great to have you with us. There's something beautiful the Bible says in the book of Revelation that angels love to do this stuff full time. Mm. And that is to sing and to praise and to honor God. Um, and yeah, yeah. That's, that song is just a very beautiful one. Just yeah. you're praising God for his beauty and his loveliness and um, the angels who know him the best yeah. and, and see him um, day in, day out. They just can't, can't stop praising. Mm. And uh, that's our destiny. That's what we're called to. And this is just a little tiny um, snippet. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Indeed. I saw um, a request for Have Thine Own Way, Lord, 567. Thank you for giving us the number as well. It's in E flat. It's, it's written in E flat. Would you like to do some guitar, maybe? Because that's going way down for her, isn't it? Could do that. Maybe D would pass. I think she wouldn't struggle with D. <laughs> She's got a really high voice. The hymn book is written all in her. <laughs> 567. Yeah, let's just use this hymn book. <laughs> would you like to start a solo? Uh, sure. Let's get the words. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> version. I was like, oh, that's not what my hymn book says. <laughs> Lucky we weren't trying to do a trio at that point. <laughs> Beautiful. They were lovely. Okay, what did you see? Did you see? I saw was... Sparrow suggesting this is my father's world and I went, I'm with Sparrow on that one. I, I love that song. Oh, nice one. What is the hymn number? 92. 92 in the hymn book. 92. This is my father's world.
your outros. <laughs> They're so lovely. So someone was asking, who are these singers tonight? And um, I think someone said, yeah, I want to know that too. So go ahead and introduce yourselves. <laughs> okay, my name is Brayden, Brayden Enterman. This is my auntie Sandra. So um, some of you met my dad. He's been involved in the sing-alongs as well. So Gary Enterman siblings mm -hmm. and I'm Gary's son. Um, so yeah, it's a blessing to be here doing music tonight and it's mm -hmm. a blessing to be in um, in our home here. It's, I think it's the first time we've done music from our home. We've been renovating for, for the last few months and it's in a state where we can... Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and also the key feature is this piano. It's important to have a piano, right, to do these sing-alongs and I must say, you know, the um, Elise and I were looking for a piano for, for a while and then we decided that hey, it might be um, worth saving the pennies because a good one is always expensive. And then you, you leave things with God and he's, he's able to sort things out. Honey Sandra was randomly searching online and found a free baby grand piano, which turned out to be one of the nicest pianos I've ever played. Wow. And that's the one I'm playing on tonight. Isn't that amazing? And um, it just reminds me that no matter what it is, um, yeah, lean not on your own understanding. We often try to solve all of the problems on our own and we find that God actually not only solves our problems, but actually provides not just our needs, but our wants as yep, well. Yep, yep. And he's provided this beautiful piano. I love it so much. And that's the piano that we're, um, um, we're sharing music from. Today. Amazing. That's and this, amazing. Is, this is my wife, Elise. Yeah. Hey, someone was just asking, where, where, where can I get your shirt from? <laughs> Glad well, you noticed. Don't you love this? It says Jesus is coming in like a ton of different languages. And might I just add that, um, sorry, I was out of the, out of the shop. <laughs> might I just add that it was one of you who sent this to me. A dear lady named Dawn sent this to me. She contacted me and asked, what's your size? I have a little gift I'd like to send you. It just arrived yesterday. Thank you, Dawn. Dawn's husband, Steve, designed it. And um, he was going to be selling them at the general conference session this year that didn't happen. Hmm. So after Sabbath, you can go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> they have, he does a lot of, um, it's prophecyart.com, prophecyart.com. And he has a lot of artwork that he does for prophecy, you know, things that you read in Revelation and Daniel. And his art is just beautiful. So um, thank you, Dawn, for the shirt. And, and just in the event that it was this shirt that you're referring to. Oh. You know, <laughs> that's who funny. knows? You know, if you don't know which shirt you're referring to. But it was. What have you got? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I've got two cool shirts this. here. Oh, this, no, this, this, this is a cool shirt. But this one, this one here, if, if um, you're wondering where you get this one from, Matt Parra, um, who's the um, evangelism director for the Northern New South Wales Conference, he did a, a series on Revelation at Big Camp last year. And it was called Wherever He Goes. Aww. So in the event that that's... <laughs> who, who knows, they may have a pile of them, you know, after big camps it can be that way. Give, give them a call there at the conference office, they might be able to hit you up with one of these shirts. <laughs> I love it, I love it. You know we're not trying to endorse things and we're never trying to sell things here, but this, I was just like, oh, they said this, this shirt, I've got to wear it on, on the sing-along. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, what are we singing next? Yes. I'd rather have Jesus. Thank you for noticing. We're busy chattering away. She's reading your comments. <laughs> Is that 327? Yeah. I'd rather have Jesus. Yeah, I might open that door. It's getting a little... It, it should be quiet now. I okay, I can do that.
Okay, yeah, so sometimes there's words in there that don't belong. <laughs> um, get ourselves into trouble. Um, oh dear. Sorry, people. They're all YouTube things. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my glasses that I don't have on. Can you see? Oh man, but can you see as well? Yeah, oh, yeah. oh you will win. Even it. if we just do the. Um, we'll, we'll try first it. Verse. We'll do the first verse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through, my treasures are
Um, do we? Wow. Um, so, do you want scripture somewhere? Yeah, I would love to. I would love to know whether you would just have a little listen to a song, or you think of something else. Well, it's it'll be a. Yeah, a scripture song. It can be a kids' song. Oh, yeah, you got a new one. Um, yeah, at least at least very little. Song. Brayden and Elise have been writing songs. They have some beautiful, oh, Holy Spirit, Brayden, and they have some beautiful ones. So I would love for them to sing those tonight and bless you. But they seem to have another little idea for the moment. <laughs> it's a song. It's an original. Yeah, okay, love it. it. Yeah. Go for it. Do you want to explain it, Elise? Sure. So a few years ago, I was visiting my family in Finland, and um, my oldest nephew was at my parents' house where I was staying. And I got up in the morning, and I was wanting to read the Bible, but he also woke up and he wanted to do some things. And I said that, okay, and anyway, um, I figured out a way to incorporate him in my <laughs> little morning uh, devotion. Awesome. And I prayed that God would help me to um, help him to memorize a verse. And mm -hmm. I'm, I usually can't put um, words to music <laughs> or the other way around, but this time, God just gave me a little tune for, for a verse, oh, and nice. then we were able to memorize it together. And then, yeah, we sometimes sing it here, and it's, it's an encouragement to us. Lovely. So the verse is the, the, really the last, um, one of the last verses of the book of Ecclesiastes, which is um, King Solomon's summary of all of the things that he's learned in his life. And it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. Mm, mm. Or another translation for this is the whole duty of man. Cool. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> verses in 100 days I don't know why I didn't think of putting them to music a lot <laughs> earlier in the 100 days because the ones that I put to music are the ones that mm. have stayed in the long term that's awesome lovely mm -hmm. lovely alrighty what else have we got I saw Holy Spirit rain down I love that song but my fingers would get a little lost in Aww, some of those chords. I was yeah. thinking through it and I was like, I don't know where to go Aww, there. So I understand, understand. The spirit is willing, but the fingers. <laughs> the fingers aren't. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Joy Marie. Well, um, we've got some songs, haven't we? <laughs> the list here. What would you like to sing? We'll come back to your favourites in a minute. Okay, let's do this one here. What's it called? How this is the one we've kind of, yeah. Okay. I'm about to learn a new hymn. How Firm a Foundation, and it is number... 509. 
So we haven't been choosing all your requests, forgive us. It's for my cup. So those of you who are musical, you will understand that there is, um, use your right hand, so that way your finger won't go in front oh, of the true. camera. Oh, true, yeah, 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 sorry about that. <laughs> that. Those of you who are musical, you'll understand there are styles and genres even within, um, say, sacred music and, and some musicians styles lend themselves better to certain songs so some of the songs you're suggesting i know are going to be great for you know the next week or the week after so i'm not ignoring you totally and i'm choosing the ones that lend themselves to Braden's style of playing not that we're trying to um just mellow you out or anything but Braden has just a beautiful mellow style oh good on you Braden. he's scrolling back <laughs> Hey, while he's scrolling, can I just say, um, this week, Adventists in the house, it is the Adra Appeal Week. So for those of you who have just stumbled across this feed, that's the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, um, which is a registered charity, not-for-profit, um, to help those in need. And this week we would normally be out knocking on doors, encouraging you to give to really help. Um, Adra Australia believes that all people were created um, to live as God intended, free from poverty and disadvantage. So that's their whole aim is to help those um, who need help. And they step in on um, mega disasters. They're the first, they're on the front lines with the other big organisations you know of. So this week, um, is the week that we want to encourage you to give. So I reckon adra.org.au, head there and hit donate. And then you can tell us, donated, donated, because enthusiasm begets enthusiasm. And you may not have your receipt books ready to hit the community now. COVID has changed a lot of things this year. But um, we can all get online and give. And even just a little bit, it's tax deductible. Adra, A-D-R-A dot org dot A-U. And then the, it's the it's the hang on to hope appeal this year. Hit donate, and then you can write donated, donated, and we'll we'll see you, and we'll um, we'll donate too. So, okay, what you, what did you In choose? In moments like these. Oh, nice! And now you have to scroll back up so that you can get the um. Okay. Oof. Get the, the new comments, or else you'll be stuck on in moments like these for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know this one? <laughs>
One song that um, is a Bible text that I have been stumbling over every other day for the last so many weeks. Years ago, Braden was reading through the testimonies to the church. It's a volume, a uh, number of volumes. And I remember being so inspired watching him read through that that I got inspired to read it myself. And um, the writer of those refers to the text so often. Um, if you are hidden with Christ, risen with Christ. Risen with Christ. <laughs> and um, I just keep on singing. Da, 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 da. Their tune comes in. I tell you, scripture to music. Do you want to do that one? Why not? That's, Why not? That's a pretty natural segue. <laughs> Don't be tricking me and do another one. <laughs> Thank you.
when I asked, I saw the, the title of the song, it's Where Christ Is. Mm. Yeah, Where Christ Is. It is recorded, yeah? Uh, on yes. the new song collection. Yeah. yeah, they have recorded that. I saw someone asking. They have recorded that on um, a new song collective volume one. one? Yeah. It's a one, compilation two. album. The first one wasn't volume one. Oh, that's right. The first album. one was a kid's album, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. A new song collective volume one. Where Christ is. That's beautiful. Okay, so we are marching along with our um, time. Happy Sabbath, Jeffrey. Um, what now? What song now? <laughs> oh, we, we will. Don't you love the way we choose? <laughs> it's helpful when we choose the ones Kumbaya. that we know we can. We could do a, um, a, a, a piano version of it. We could. I so can't wait to do a full version of that with the acapella. Should we? Yeah, we can do Kumbaya. Oh, what a friend. Okay. I don't know if it's on YouTube. So I'm not sure about that. Sorry. Kumbaya. simply means come by here my lord come by here i really um believe that god does inhabit our praise and that he's in this room that he's in your room he's in your spaces where you are tuning in from just um lovely to know we're not alone hey we've got god the holy spirit is with us angels sing with us just beautiful so the time is 8 30 so you are the homeowners you get to decide whether we just um, wrap up or whether we sing one or two more. Yeah, sing a few more. Okay. They don't have to go anywhere, do they? They just roll off to bed. That's right. <laughs> Is it water from we have in Jesus? 
The other one was like those chords. Well, those chords are tricky. Aren't they? <laughs> I was like, I'll leave them to Kemi last week. But you know? <laughs> she did great. Yeah. She did great. So for those of you, well, they do their little powwow. For those of you who were asking, who are these people? If you go back to the very first sing along, sing along number one and two, maybe four, those early ones. Well, you could only be with family. You couldn't be with anyone else. <laughs> we have Brayden playing and singing, and Elise as well. Lift up the trumpet. Jesus is coming again. Not sure if anyone requested it, but here it comes. Two one six, maybe. Two two six. Two two six.
see because he lives just popped up. Oh, Let's finish with Lift up the trumpet. is obviously pointing this way toward us but if we could turn it around a bit up on our wall we've got this beautiful um, painting not the original i wish but it's a copy of uh, nathan green's the blessed hope which is the second coming yeah. um, of jesus um, i could yank it off there in a heartbeat oh, let's, do that. Come on. let's do it <laughs> you can flip the screen if you want or we can just go for a little wander <laughs> look at this mm. Mm. Oh dear, it's all back to front. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. There you go. Isn't that lovely? You don't want to miss out on that day. You want to do whatever you need to do just to surrender to Christ and to just um, make an appointment to be ready on that day. Hey. So, um, you're going straight to Because He Lives, or because if so, we will pray and um, then close out with that, unless you had something else in mind. Oh, the only thing that came to my mind was... Um, um, One more of their originals. <laughs> you know, um, the song that you and Neville sing together? Well, until then. It's a beautiful song. It's, it's the hymn, It May Be at Morn, coupled with Until Then. Oh, Neville, we're about to have a go of yours. I'm having, I'm having, have a stab at it. You'll have a stab? <laughs> okay, what's It May Be at Morn, just so I can remember. It's number 207 and 632. That's the two hymns you want to have. <laughs> You're making me nervous, Pray. 207 and 632, they're the two hymns we want. You're playing it very nicely. No need to be nervous. <laughs>
coming back to me. It's one of my favorites. Two hymns together, and and rearranged as you can see the melody line. Mm. Yeah, it's on one of his albums. And I had the privilege of singing mm. it with him <laughs> in a key that I can sing it. Sorry, sorry. Ah, dear. See, that's the thing. Getting a a piano like this. Yeah. There's no transpose button. <laughs> Every other time we've done music and I've played, I've always been just hitting the transpose button if it gets a bit Moving hairy. It. But um. Yeah. That's beautiful. Anyway. Well done, Brayden. Neville will be very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. All righty. So, um, what did you want to close out with? And then we, we, will, we will pray and then... Oh, someone's tagging Neville. Okay, Ooh. Neville's on it. <laughs> Bless you. Um, well, yeah, should we close on this? Yeah. yeah. So, let's pray together before we close with that hymn. And for those of you who've been present in the last two weeks know that we are praying for some countries around the world I don't know if you realize but early in the early in the sing-alongs people started typing where they were from and I just I don't really have that much spare time but I did just start documenting where you're all from because it was very interesting to me and so two weeks ago we prayed for the countries the A and B countries that you tell us you're from um, last week was the C D and E countries and this week uh, of course Brain's not gonna remember them all I'm gonna ask you to pray if you would be so kind sure. He's not going to remember them all, but God is, and um, for your benefit. And thank you for letting us know where you're coming from. This is just a beautiful worldwide family to belong to. So you've told us that you are from, and we're going to pray tonight uh, for these countries. Uh, Fiji. Finland. Say happy Sabbath in Finland. Finnish. Hyvää sabattia. There you go. We didn't get to hear you sing and finish tonight. I'm so sorry. Okay, Fiji, Finland, France, French Polynesia, Germany, Ghana, Grenada, Guadeloupe. I think that's how you say it. Guam, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, Hong Kong, Hungary, Iceland, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Isle of Man, Israel, and Italy. So, um... If you can't remember all those countries, of course, F to I is this is week. If we uphold the people in those countries, um, not just those who are viewing with us, but that's where you're from. And so thank you so much for letting us know. And um, if you have any unspoken prayer requests, if you just want to say amen, yes, unspoken prayer requests, we are certainly thinking of you um, tonight and upholding you in prayer. Would you be so kind, yeah. Brad? Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. And I'm grateful for the, the honor 
of being able to pray on behalf of um, the people who are tuning in tonight, the mm. people that will continue to tune in and listen um, to this music um, evening. Lord, you know us all by name. The Bible says that the very uh, every detail of our lives is inscribed on the palm of your hands. Mm. We're not forgotten. And the Bible says that you see the sparrow that falls and how much more um, do you know and understand what we're going through. Yeah. Father, I want to pray a, a prayer from hev to heaven, pleading that you would pour out your blessing, pour out your Holy Spirit. Send angels, Lord, on rapid wing to every home, mm. to every heart, to every country that has just been mentioned. Um, I want to pray that there would be a revival of a knowledge of the truth about who you are. And I want to thank you for those who are listening tonight, and I pray that a dawning, a, a new morning would come into their lives where your light and your love would shine. Courage would come to those that are, are feeble and frail and fearful. Um, hope would come to those who are hopeless and healing would come to those who are sick. Yeah. I want to pray that you would reveal your mighty arm and your power in the countries where your name is especially downtrodden. Wow. And mm -hmm. I want to pray for any countries that have been mentioned tonight who... Um, have some very serious problems going on and I uh, pray that you would reveal yourself. We long for your soon return. It is coming near. I pray that we would spend time in your word and seek it, as the Bible says, for, as for hidden treasure. Please pour your spirit out upon us, Lord, and may this Sabbath be a very special time where we can um, know you and know who we are in your eyes. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Brayden. So you chose, uh, someone there chose, 526, I think it might be, because he lives.
us. Thank you, Brayden. Thank you, Elise, for having us all in your home. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ipswich, Queensland. <laughs> so thank you very much for allowing us time with you tonight. We know you could be doing other things, so this has been really special. God bless. You get the privilege of pressing the finish button. <laughs> Bye! I think the, the finish oh, girl... Oh, the finish girl can hit the finish button! Woo! <laughs>